Reuters. Tens of thousands of holidaymakers were left stranded after Britain's third largest package holiday operator, XL Leisure Group, grounded all flights after going into administration. The company, started in 1999, had been unable to obtain fresh funding to keep going. Founder and CEO Phil Wyatt. It's a very sad day for me personally. I'm totally devastated, um, as are all my staff. They've been incredibly loyal, hardworking, and some of them have <coughs> been with me, excuse me, for the last 15 years. <coughs> Unfortunately, the huge fuel price hike and the inability of the business to hedge all its fuel has increased our costs year on year by over 80 million US dollars. The failure is the latest in the sector after low-cost carrier Zoom and Spanish charter airline Futura International went bust in the last two weeks. And Virgin Atlantic boss Richard Branson expects many more to follow. I'm sure that there will be more casualties. I mean, it's um, particularly if fuel prices stay over $100 a barrel. Um, the, uh, you know, so, it, you know, it's... It, it's, it's, it's Worse than 9/11, uh, the, the worst, worse than the aftermath of 9/11. Um, you know, um, but what, you know, one good sign is that fuel prices seem to be coming down, and hopefully that trend will continue. And it's good news for the two leading British tour operators, TUI Travel and Thomas Cook. Shares went up in both companies, and investors were advised to buy, as XL leaves a 20% gap in the market. Stephanie McIntyre, Reuters.